and today we're going to be making a wild berry shake and I figured I'm going to put some greens in this shake and so I figured I might as well come out here and pull some of my Swiss chard out here so look at the Swiss chard I got growing and this is in my front yard and these are actually really uh, warm tolerant so they've been growing extremely well and actually this is my first year growing Swiss chard I normally don't only grow like spinach and kale and those kind of greens um, and I figured I'd give it a shot and see how, how they go uh, they're extremely bitter in my, in my point of view, but um, I figured, hey, you know, it's just another, another high uh, dense green that I need to be eating on a regular basis, so I figure I might as well grow it, right? So this is what you can do if you can kind of try to grow your own greens, and, all right, and this is really simple to do. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, as you can see, some of these are really big, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the real big ones out. I got my, uh, my cutters here, and I'm just going to go close to the bottom as I can and try to cut them off at the stock just like that and look how bad this guy is I mean you can just slap somebody in the face with it man <laughs> alright so let me get one let me see let me grab another one I try to like you know pick and choose which ones I get uh, preferably obviously the big ones because they're the ones that are um, you know are ready to go and the smaller ones you don't want to mess with those too much because they're going to grow even bigger so uh, let me grab another piece, and I try not to pull too much from one area, but um, sometimes I just end up having to do that. But the good thing about it is that they're supposed to grow back. I mean, like I said, this is my first year growing them, and uh, some of the ones that I pulled out from here before, um, they're starting to grow back in the center. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that, but they're starting to grow back. Alright you guys, there. so I got my greens. Now let's get crazy and get wild. Make a wild berry shake. Come on. Okay, guys. So we got all the ingredients together. I have some strawberries in here, frozen strawberries in here. Some of these I had growing in my own garden, and uh, some of these are actually bought from an organic store, so they, they, it's all organic. So I got about two cups, and they're frozen. And um, over here I have about one full cup of blueberries, and they're also frozen. And I have about a quarter cup of goji berries that's been soaking in some water over here. And I'm also going to be using a couple of uh, figs. And these figs I actually got from my own fig tree, man. And they're absolutely amazing. I can't believe the flavor. So that's what happens when you grow your own stuff, man. I'm telling you, man. You got to do it. You got to do it. All right. So we got some... Uh, oh, yeah. I got to tell you guys about this, man. Because this stuff... You know, I'm not sure if y'all remember the other coconut water I had before. It's called Naked. Yes, Naked. That's right. Uh, um... <laughs> But this stuff is really good. I mean, this stuff is, compared to the other one, um, the other one had more of a watery base to it. I'm not sure what, you know, I never called the company up and asked them what exactly they do to it. All I know is that it's supposed to be, you know, 100% coconut water. But this one tastes a lot better. Um, and they actually have little bits of um, coconut meat in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll pour it out. And, um, and it's actually extremely yummy. My... My youngest son, he tears this stuff up. Every time I crack one of these damn things open, he's always like, Oh, Daddy, can I have some? So I always got to give him some. And he's like, Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to give it to you back. I was like, Wait a minute. This is for me. But, um, but if you don't have fresh coconut, the young coconuts, you know, that might be an alternative for you. It's called Real Coconut Water slash Pulp. And it's made by, I guess, Taste uh, Nirvana. All natural ingredients. And it's 100% uh, coconut water so if you haven't um, if you don't have the means to get some real coconuts uh, you might be able to find something like this okay let's move on alright over here you know I already picked my 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 Swiss chard and this is roughly about uh, four cups or so and you, know, you want to make sure that you use the stalks in here because the stalks are what has a lot of nutrients because you gotta remember all those nutrients are coming from the soil as it's pulling it up into the leaves so the stalks are extremely extremely nutritious so don't forget that alright so I'm gonna put everything up in here I got my blueberries I got my goji berries goji berries whatever I like to say goji berries <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna just cut this up a little bit and uh, I also got a little bit of uh, stevia. I'm just going to add this for a little sweetener. And I'm just going to add 
one tube of this thing in here. I'm not sure if you guys noticed my little uh, art gallery I got going on over here. Some of my kids, they, they drew some of us on here, the kids. And we actually got a cat, brand new cat, two cats actually. And yes, we're crazy. I don't know what we're thinking about, but it's, I don't know what we're going to do now. So we're going to need some help. Right. But look, that's me right there. Look, doesn't it look just like me. See? <laughs> All right. Let's move on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some water. So I'd say it was probably about two cups of the coconut water in there. And I'm probably going to add, let me see, this is two and a half, but I'll probably just add one and a half. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, maybe we use the whole thing. So that's about two and a half cups of water. And we'll see how that goes. I might have to add another half a cup or so. But... Oh no, the top. And the top is gone <laughs> again. It's always missing me. All right. Okay, so I got my top now. I'm back on point. So <laughs> let me go ahead and get this guy cranking. And we're going to do pull. Okay, so I think we're done now. Let's see what we got cranking again. And let me just make sure I get all this stuff in here somewhat. None of that stuff escaping. All right, I'll go ahead and pour it in my mug. And I didn't put any additional water in there, so I just left it like it was. But look at that. Yeah, we got all the berries in there. We got my figs in there. We got my greens in there. Everything awesome, nutritious, great way to start the day, middle of the day, end of the day. It really don't matter. But when it's hot outside, it's been like extremely hot around here. We're talking about 100 plus degrees. And I can't take the heat, man. I can't take the heat. Not that kind of heat anyway. That's not spicy heat. That's just like, I don't know. It's like the sun's coming in. I'm just like melting. Like, ah. You know, it's like, oh, my God, I can't take it, man. But this is like one of those things, man. You got to go outside and just get your body adjusted to the heat, you know. So, all right, check this out, guys. Look at the color. Absolutely yummy. I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Salud. Mm. Oh wow, that's so refreshing. It's nothing like having berries. Berries are so good for you. And, you know, high in antioxidants. And I know the Guji berry is the king of the berries in this bunch, so don't even get it twisted, man. The Guji berries is, is just outweighs all those guys in terms of nutrients. So, gotta get your Guji berries in, y'all. Get your greens in. You'll feel extremely, extremely powerful. You'll have all the energy you need to get through your workout, to get through your day. So don't forget to get your greens in, all right? So I'll see y'all next time on the Raw Food Muscle.